What do dull knife edges look like under a microscope? What do slightly dull edges look like, and what do they look like after you strop them back to sharp? And do all materials dull the knife the same, or in the same way? Do different materials dull a knife differently? Does any of this matter? I don't know, but let's check it out. First, in order to show you a dull knife, I have to show you a sharp one. I sharpened this knife starting on the Shapton Korimaku 1000, the 2000, and the 5000 sharpening stones, and then stropped on a green chromium oxide strop. A lot of people ask me why I use so many different sharpening stones and compounds and not just stick with one. The reason is because I test a lot of different stuff for reviews and whatnot, and I actually use the stuff I review and reviewed. It's just part of making sharpening videos, is I can't remain consistent in anything for the sake of making these videos. Ooh, that is sharp, man. I typically don't sharpen to 5,000 grit, so I'm always a little bit surprised with what a 5,000 grit edge feels like cutting stuff, especially paper towels. Yeah, I mean, that's a sharp knife. Let me tell you. So here's the edge. I'd recommend viewing this in 4K and on an actual computer screen to see full detail. You won't be able to see everything on your phone. Now what we have is we have a very nice burr-free apex. And what's interesting is, is that you can actually see the carbides in the steel matrix right on the surface. They are all those tiny little dots poking through the surface of the steel. I guess the question now is, will those carbides look different if the knife was sharpened on a diamond stone rather than the ceramics from the Shaptons? We'll definitely have to investigate this in another video. For the doling, I cut up some very dirty cardboard. I don't know how much I cut, but it seemed like a lot, and the knife was actually still pretty sharp. I thought for sure <laughs> that that dirty nasty cardboard would have dulled this out, uh, at least enough to not cut paper. And I was out of cardboard, so I had to resort to something I actually cut quite a bit, which is fiberglass insulation. This stuff is actually very tough on blades, so it didn't take long till the knife felt like it definitely needed to be sharpened. I wouldn't call that paper cutting sharp. Here's what that looks like in sort of real life view, and it looks dull. Here it is, the dulled edge. It's funny because it looks like the apex is literally just flattened. Now I was careful to not let this portion of the blade do anything but cut what I was cutting. Meaning I didn't drag this portion on the board or have this portion of the blade come in contact with anything other than the cardboard and the fiberglass. And it still looks like it's just flat right on the surface or right on the apex. Now one thing that I was wondering after viewing this is if different materials dull an edge differently or do all of the edges look the same after cutting different abrasive materials. So now I reset. I resharpened the knife the same as I did before and I dulled it again using some leftover carpet padding I had laying around since I was running out of stuff to cut at this point. I dulled it to a point where it wasn't super shaving sharp and it felt like it could use a touch up. And it's like right on the edge of not shaving. It's still popping hairs out, but it's definitely not comfortable. So this is very small here, but you can see where we are starting to get some edge damage. Like I said, this knife wasn't super dull, but it wasn't super crazy sharp either. Compared side by side on the upper dulled blade, you can see where some dulling has started to occur. So back to the strop, and here I stropped for exactly 37 seconds. Now this was a brand new application of compound on the strop, so it is cutting quite well. Oh, that feels really nice and sharp again. Oh yeah, shaves no problem. Obviously, oh that's much better. And here we are after stropping, and it's almost an identical edge. Maybe there are some tiny, tiny damage portions there, but nothing crazy at all. This is a perfectly capable blade again after a quick strop. So I wanted to see real quick what cutting a super abrasive but consistent material would look like. So I made a couple of cuts in some 220 grit sandpaper, and obviously this stalled the edge super quick. Well, that didn't take long. 
The apex looks slightly different than the first time, with the apex looking more abraded away rather than flattened. So there we have it. The apex wears away differently depending on the material being cut. Something I think we could have assumed and we all already knew, but here's the confirmation for what it's worth. So I just want to talk about this pull through knife sharpener again. Just kidding. <laughs> the truth, you can't handle the truth.